Welcome to episode 9 of PM Exercises Weekly. This week, I thought it might be a good idea for us to talk a little bit about user interviews and how they should be conducted. It's very interesting how we sometimes try to get some ideas of what we should be building by directly asking our customers or our users what they think we should be building. And I think there is a lot of risk with that. In many cases, they give you what their wish list is, whereas in practical terms, it doesn't align with what they actually do or what their underlying needs are. And sometimes they're not even aware of what those needs are. So a better way of doing user interviews, in my opinion, and this is something that I've learned from a book called The Mom's Test. I thought it was really interesting. I learned about it early in my career. It was recommended by somebody who was a great product designer. The idea is to try to really observe and understand how your users interact with your product or they actually go about their day um, in the context of the problem that you're trying to solve for them. So um, the difference between this approach versus the approach of asking them for a wish list is that In the second approach, you're really focusing more on events and actual sequence of events rather than the wish list. And there's usually a lot of risk associated with that because in many cases, what they think they need is really not what they actually need. So um, a good example that this book, The Mom's Test, talks about is how in the case of a user interview, if you ask somebody whether or not they like healthy food, they would say yes, but if you ask them what they eat last night, they'll probably tell you they have pizza. And I thought this was a really interesting example of how sometimes what people want is different than what they actually do. And because of that, it's important for us as product managers to try to be very, very close to uh, conversations that are around the sequence of events in terms of interaction with the product that you've built or in terms of the problems that they've dealt with so that you can actually use that um, to identify some of those underlying problems that haven't been actually discovered yet. Hope you find this session helpful. Thank you so much and see you next week.